Cornish lads are fishermen, and Cornish lads are miners too. But when the fish and tin are gone, what are the Cornish boys to do? So this is an old mine then, isn't it? Yeah. So remember, yeah. keep your head down. Right. Cornwall, Britain's holiday mecca, but one of the poorest areas in the UK. The tin mines are memories, tourist trails these days. When it all closed up, see, that must have had a pretty devastating effect on the local community. Well, you could imagine it. Um, most of the villages in this area, their main income came from mining. It was the heart of these communities, the mine wars. But now they think Cornish mines and Cornish granite could again produce a boom here, vital for decarbonising Britain. So this is a typical granite from the Synostal area. The areas which is shiny is the mica. And within oh, this yeah, mica, yeah. It's really shiny, you have um, yeah. the, the lithium, which we're looking to uh, extract. So we will take rock samples like this. We will crush them down and extract the mica. Then from this, we will um, extract the lithium, which will then be used in the uh, lithium ion battery. The government is promising to end diesel and petrol car production less than eight years from now. That means electric cars and that means lithium batteries. At Redruth, they reckon a large natural hot tap is the fast track to zero carbon lithium. So lithium was actually first discovered in this part of Cornwall where they were extracting tin and copper. They used to suffer from these kind of upwelling hot springs and found that these waters were unusually rich in lithium, if only we had a use for it. So we, we spool forward and now suddenly we've found the youth of all uses. Boy, do we need lithium. So once the hot waters have been pumped up and they've generated geothermal power, and it's then going to go into this lithium extraction plant that allows us to selectively remove just the lithium compounds from the water. And actually, if we can power that processing plant with geothermal power, then there's the opportunity for it to be net zero carbon lithium. Current lithium production around the world involves environmentally damaging practices with an immense carbon footprint. But here in the UK, low carbon lithium is there for the taking in Cornwall's disused China clay pits. Here in Cornwall, the lithium mica we're looking at is hosted in previously explored quarries, which means we can mine an area that's in need of rehabilitation, softening the environmental impact. No mining is entirely green, but local yeah. lithium, like local food, cuts transportation, reducing carbon emissions. In a carbon conscious world where we have to be, getting minerals out of the ground locally is of importance in a way it's never been before, isn't it? We shouldn't be prepared to actually have production under poor environmental standards elsewhere. We should be considering primary production. And the reason for that is there are jobs associated with it. This is still a hugely resource-rich area. In Brexit Britain, new rules mean sourcing raw materials here is more important than ever. Failure could have dire consequences for British jobs. If we don't secure the supply of lithium here in the UK, it threatens the very survival of the UK car industry. And it could mean that the entire automobile industry in the UK was wiped out. That's 800,000 jobs, directly and indirectly. It's a huge consequence. It's building back better in action. Cornwall could supply up to two-thirds of the UK's lithium needs. That's up to a million electric vehicles a year. And with talk of a gigafactory possibly coming to the southwest, for Cornwall's battered economy, the future's bright, the future's green. The water now reclaims the mine. And young men talk of old men's time And go to work in gold or coal Or face a life upon the dole